Greetings friends, Paul here with some radio projects here. I'm using an external AM antenna in my portable TIV Dio V111 shortwave, medium wave, or AM and FM radio receiver, this little portable guy. Did a review on this video previously. And the onboard ferrite bar antenna is pretty good but I thought I would try to upgrade it um, with this external, that's an eight coil, an eight loop coil external antenna right there, about a five inch diameter. And what I did is I just stripped the wires and I soldered that to the connections inside the unit on the circuit board. This does not have an external antenna input. So I just soldered them onto that contact there. You can see I can't screw that closed, but this is for experimental purposes. And the signal is about what I was getting before, really, with the onboard ferrite bar. I have to say it's not really... There's a fair amount of noise with this unit, but I thought I would check it out. It's not bad. I just don't know if there's any improvement, really, by using that external... Um, that external option. However, on FM, I had a lot of accept, success upgrading the onboard telescoping FM antenna. You know, these guys with 14 gauge solid copper core, solid copper strand wire. And I've actually got over five feet of it right here about five feet, four inches to that frequency that I'm tuning to. Now, I've done that following the wavelength formula. Actually, for one half of the wavelength in feet, this formula on the bottom is used by many ham radio and DIY amateur radio enthusiasts to figure out the half wavelength for a dipole, that's two-section, antenna to accommodate for space, of course. So I've just connected, and again, I connected that right on that terminal where the original antenna was right there. Just replaced it and screwed it right back in. It works great. But yeah, you could use this as a half dipole antenna, but I just decided to use just single strand. And that signal improved immensely on the FM band. Um, also, orienting the antennas I'm finding is really important. Like for this station I have here is broadcast out of the northeast. And this is perpendicular to the northeast right there. So that's a sweet spot. Well, a note about the original formula for the wavelength is the speed of light divided by the frequency of the signal. Now that's speed of light in a vacuum or about 300 million meters per second. However, in real world application, the speed of light is not in a vacuum, in air, bouncing through the atmosphere. So the absorption refraction of this formula here is dependent on the conductive nature of the material. In our case, copper wire, any insulation around that wire, air density, moisture in the air, a whole variety of factors. And actually some people in the ham community actually put that 468 accounting for some of these other factors over here at closer to a 492 number. So that might be something to consider is that for reception though, guys, this is perfectly good. The speaker in the radio is an eight ohm, one half watt speaker, exactly like this little guy. It was a pretty tinny sound, but the upgrade that I have coming in the mail, the V115, is a 6 ohm, 2 watt speaker. A little smaller than this, but it's going to have that bass diaphragm, which is really going to help out a lot for the bass response. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with every single person you know.